Locally, we have much to celebrate this Easter. With the widespread take-up of vaccinations, schools have continued face-to-face -face classes throughout first term, even though many students and teachers have needed to isolate at various times. And after two missed years, the Bendigo Easter Fair will be held again, including a very welcome return of the Way of the Cross. Further afield, we know that many are suffering. People in New South Wales and Queensland have lost homes in floods. In many parts of the world, COVID is still causing widespread sickness and death. In Europe, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has inflicted appalling casualties and destruction. As we seek to respond with generosity and compassion to those who suffer, our Easter proclamation is that God's infinite love for each person overcomes any suffering, challenge or disappointment that we might experience. Jesus remained faithful to his commitment to the poor and suffering, even though it would lead him to the cross. And the new life of his resurrection opened the joy and hope that God longs to share with each of us. As we commemorate Jesus' death and resurrection, we recall our own mission to live with the faithfulness and commitment that we see in him. I wish each of you and your loved ones all the blessings of this year's Easter celebrations.